Hello everybody, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to do this asymmetrical shawl. So to do this asymmetrical shawl, you're going to need a 5mm hook and I'm using worsted weight yarn. But you can use, uh, because this is such an easy repeat pattern, you can use any size hook uh, that, I mean any size yarn and whatever hook that yarn recommends. So it can be done, it's just a simple easy repeat. So how you begin row one is you want to start by chaining seven. Four, five, six, and seven. Then in the fourth chain from the hook, you want to put a double crochet. So count away four, and that fourth stitch away from the hook, put a double crochet. We have three chains left. You want to put a double crochet worked in just the next two stitches, leaving one chain left. Now this is when we're going to do our first uh, cross stitch. So if you need to pull up your loop a little bit, that's fine. Yarn over and you want to use not the last double crochet but the previous double crochet. You want to grab onto the post of that and you'll work a front post double crochet. And then you want to come to that last chain one space that we have and put a double crochet in it to end the row. And that ends row one. So for row two you want to chain one and turn. Now you want to put a uh, only working in the this back loop only. You want to put a single crochet in the next three stitches using only that, this front loop. So after you have your three single crochets, we have this next part of the cross stitch, which is the next stitch. So we're gonna skip that part. And we're gonna go right in to single crocheting into that, that single double crochet there and our ending chain three. We'll be using the top of that ending chain three. And again, we're gonna be using the front loops only. So skip the next stitch, and then the following stitch, do a, a single crochet in that front loop only. And then in the very last chain, you'll put two double crochets. So when you're ending chain three, put your two double crochets and that will increase for this row. And that ends row two. So for row three, for uh, at the end of all the single crochet rows, you will always chain three. So chain three and turn. And in the same stitch that the chain's coming out of, you want to put a double crochet. So put a double crochet in that first stitch. So now that you double crocheted into the same space as your chain three, that's your increase for the row. Now without skipping a stitch, you want to double crochet in the next two stitches. And then you'll be doing another cross stitch. So yarn over and going into the, grabbing up the post of that first double crochet that you did and working a front post double crochet. And then remember this next stitch here is a double crochet. So don't use the same stitch. Go right into the next stitch and you're gonna be putting two double crochets in a row again. So this first one will have one double crochet and then you'll have one double crochet in your next, which leaves you with just this single crochet on the end, which will always be a double crochet by the way. But let's complete our cross stitch here. So we have our two double crochets, again yarn over and using the first double crochet that you did, work a front post double crochet. And then to end your row, as always, you will put a double crochet in that ending stitch. And you can see that by every row, you're going to be going up one. You can see better on this one, I guess. We'll be going up like this one has one, then two, then three, then four, then five. It gains by one every repeat, every time you repeat the repeat. <laughs> so 
that was row three. So I'm gonna take you through it again. This is row four. So every time we do a cross stitch row, you always do a chain of three. And after your cross stitch row, you'll always have a single crochet row. So you only need to chain one. And you will always put a, a uh, single crochet worked in the front loop only um, for the first three of the row. So the first three will always be three single crochets worked in that back loop only. Then once you've got that, the repeat of the row will be skip one and then using your back loops only, single crochet in the next two stitches. Then repeat that, you'll skip one and then you'll put a single crochet in the next two stitches, which happens to be the ending uh, chain for me. And this ending chain three will always need to be an increase. So I'm going to put one more single crochet in there. You should also end on an uh, even number, two, four, six, eight. So at, after row four, you should have eight stitches on your single crochet row. So again, for a cross stitch row, and this is gonna go ahead and uh, be the last repeat I take you through. Um, this is row five and row six. Oh, may, maybe I'll take you through row seven too, I don't know. So you always wanna do a chain of three and turn. And again, that first chain three will always have an increase of a double crochet. So put that double crochet in there. Now you're ready for your cross stitches of your row. So the next two stitches, sorry for that noise outside. So the next two stitches will be a double crochet. So one and two. And then we'll turn this into our very first cross stitch of the row by putting a front post double crochet in that first double crochet. Now again, make sure you don't use the same stitch that you already used and you go right into the next two unused stitches and put a double crochet in each one of those. Then we'll do another cross stitch. And then again, putting one double crochet in the next two stitches, leaving our very last, you should have one stitch at this point, every time you get to the end of this row. So finish your cross stitch and put that double crochet in that very last stitch. And now you have three this row. Next time you'll have four. So this, that was the end of row five. So for row six, chain one and turn. Again, single crochet in the first three stitches of your row. After that, you'll wanna skip one and single crochet in the next two. Always remember after your three single crochets in a row, there's always a skip one. Sorry about that noise again. And that's why I'm always saying three single crochets in a row because if there was no skip, I would say five single crochets in a row. So remember, it's always three single crochets in a row, skip one, then single crochet two in the next, skip one, single, two single crochets in the next, skip one, and two single crochets and the next two. Keep doing that until you reach your very last chain space. And I just did with my, um, the last two. And you'll always wanna have two single crochets in that very last ending chain. And that ends row six. So again, I'll go ahead and take you through one more row. Again, you'll wanna chain three. This would be row seven. Again, you'll always wanna do a double crochet in that very first stitch. I'm actually losing my yarn here. I'll grab some more up here so I can take you through this again. Okay, so again, once you've got your first increase done, the next two stitches will be double crochets. And then you'll do your cross stitch. And then again, be careful not to use that same one you just did 
and put two double crochets in the next two. Then you'll do your cross stitch. Then two double crochets. You'll continue this all the way down your row. Come on, y'all, be nice. Okay, so that's my last cross stitch of my row. Sorry if I'm getting off camera here. So you, at the end of it, you should have one stitch left, which is going to be a double crochet. And again, you should have four. Last row, you had three, two, one. So you know you're good. And just continue. Again, you'll chain one turn. First three will be worked in the front loop only. The first three, then skip one. Then you'll do the repeat. Two, then skip one. Two, then skip one. And that's it. I'm confident you guys can do this. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to like and share. And come connect with me on social media. I'm always on Facebook. I have a couple of groups there. Um, I'll share all the information down below this video where you can find me on social media and uh, But it I am on Pinterest a lot too I have a board up there where it's just free crochet patterns So if you're just looking for a place to quickly just go and see what's the newest available or what's in season You can always check that out um, Also, if you haven't done this yet, please take a moment and sign up for my newsletter because that's where you're always going to find out uh, the latest sales that may be going on the bundles I may be a part of and all the new patterns and whatever else may be coming out for me and that's the latest information and also if you want to be a patron that would be awesome they always have uh, access to my patterns every time they come out so please go and check that out too so that's it guys thanks so much for watching mm -hmm.